Hey there everybody who's new whole universe, I hope everything is fine and I'm a Russian man who brings value to my own experience and today we're gonna learn more about inventions of America, American inventions from the letter C. Yes, previously we learned that you created blender, also airplanes, also assembly line and other features like bobby pin and others. What is bobby pin by the way? It is uh, this thing, yes, for your hair and need to kind of recalculate this information inside of our mind and let's go to the C programming languages C sharp and cable television, cable tie, calculator and candy apple. I'm a Russian man, I want to say, and I don't know much, much things about America and American culture and need to learn it, I think so, and I know some also United States, uh, United States, uh, such as uh, Texas, also New York, New Jersey, Oregon, or New Oregon, okay, and also we have the Massachusetts, and California and Alabama and also Dakota and West Virginia country mama and Virginia and other things we have and Pennsylvania and Maine and I want to learn them more I want to know everything about America it's this double-edged war no it is uh, the normal and we are here it is jokes guys and maybe not. okay okay it is jokes and uh, let's go C programming language let's 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 learn what is it and I actually know because I'm kind of developer and I do programming and so let's read it to our dear viewers let's go C is a general purpose procedural computer programming language supporting structured programming lexical the ah, comma lexical variable scope and recursion with a static type system by design C provides constructs that map efficiently to to typical machine instructions okay it is programming language that could uh, use some comments from our players from our users for example I'm uh, I'm here sitting and I typing with my keyboard and my left hand is working right hand and they are kind of simultaneously asynchronously working and it is amazing okay let's go C sharp next it is uh, C or maybe uh, synchronously and uh, and synchronously and asynchronously it is, could be okay c sharp is a general purpose multi paradigm programming language c sharp encompasses static typing strong typing lexically scoped imperative declarative functional generic object oriented class based and component oriented programming disciplines it is for different purposes and what's different between c and c sharp main difference that c sharp is for the objects like we are creating dom it is a document object models and we are creating some uh, we can create websites and also we can create specific like windows and also where we will have objects yes and actually this multi paradigm it means that we can use it everywhere paradigm in programming it is the usage of tools Next, uh, cable, I mean that paradigm in programming is usage of tools where we apply it. What's the purpose? Declarative, imperative, or maybe it is something else for web design, or maybe it is for applications or for the server, so, or it will be PHP, or maybe it will be Swift, Swift UI, UI, UX design, user interface and user experience, and also it could be XML, different extensions like, like extendable markup language, or it could be Cascade style 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 sheets like uh, CSS or maybe it will be HTML hypertext uh, markup language or something else it is different forms of our view on our world and we can use different protocols like HTTP and also <laughs> the IP and also we can see TCP it is I will sa say to you internet protocol it is IP stands for IP and TCP it is transmission uh, transmission control protocol and also HTTP it is uh, hypertext transfer protocol let's go next cable television it is our is a system of delivering television programming to consumers via radio what's via via it is like by using yes via radio frequencies RF signals it is our abbreviation with parentheses inside of it surrounded by it's amazing signal transmitted through coaxial coaxial cables or in more recent systems light pulse, pulses through 
through fiber optic cables. Okay, we have the cable television and it is made in America. I didn't know about it and now we know that we have uh, some frequencies and also through the cables we can see them fiber optic where everything like ch -ch 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 reflected and also some of the things we have and they are going our our signals to our our computers and uh, and our devices Tab a cable tie a type it is a type of fastener for holding items together, primarily electrical cables and wires. Let's open it. I think that I was using it someday. And yes, 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 exactly. I was using it and I used it in my university. We had we had this clippers kind of. It is host tie also and tie wrap and also zip tie. And we used it, uh, do you know where? Where you have a billboard or a banner on the, on the event. And yes, you are like a per person and you are showing to them rectangles and some objects so when uh, some ads may be written or maybe it is the photo zone when you can do photos and this the billboard here or maybe I can call it a banner. Banner with uh, metallic constructions, metallic tubes as a perimeter and uh, we, we can construct them and also we can stand here and they are looking. Wow, it's amazing and uh, they are do photos. And it is too kind of to tighten, to fastener, to hold items uh, of the banner of this fabrics of this textile production to the metal constructions. And uh, we were using it in our university when we were preparing the events. Okay, a calculator, by the way, interesting. An electronic calculator is a typically a portable electronic device used to perform calculations ranging from basic arithmetic to complex mathematics. It is like limits you can calculate on, on it and also you can type on the numbers and it will be interesting. You have some plus and minus and also divide and also multiplication and equals and uh, it is uh, the game. And uh, I remember how I was playing in my childhood with calculator. It was interesting by the way. It was, it was like a ter Tetris and uh, also some limits you can uh, you can calculate or maybe some of the integrations differentiation and calculus things and it will be interesting and also you can find some areas of a triangle or maybe a rectangle it will be the width area area of rectangle is uh, the area of rectangle is the length on width like times times width and also a triangle it will be one one uh, half half part one uh, divided on two and multiplicate the time times h of the height on the the base of our of our triangle it is the the formula guys candy apple candy apples are whole apples covered in a sugar candy coating with a stick in, inserted as a handle yes it is what you have in your life in Russia we sometimes have it I I ate it uh, I ate it on some events and I remember how I was going to the festivals and uh, I was eating it it was on epic cone and also on some of the star cone and also some conferences and we have them and actually on the the parks like VDN, VDNH and actually it is v, VDNH in Russian language it is V V like uh, v velocity yes and we have the V and then D it is like diameter and then it is uh, N, like Node, Node.js, Node JavaScript, and uh, Nodes also we have, and Notable, and uh, something like this, and then it, it will be K for the, for, for the Kalimantan, yes, and also H, that stands for Hebrew, yes, and uh, <laughs> it is our Vedenha, five letters in English, four letters in Russian. Okay, go next. Candy corn. Candy corn is a type of small pentagonal pentagonal <laughs> pyramid uh, shapes. It means pentagonal five five uh, things. So we have pentagonal pyramid shaped candy, typically divided into three sections of different colors. Pentagon means uh, like one, two, three. Uh, I mean one, two, three, four quad on the on the our base area, and then on the top of this we have the structure of vertices. I mean that five vertices we have. 
and uh, with a waxy, a waxy texture and a flavor based on honey, sugar, butter and vanilla. Wow, vanilla, vanilla version of something. Okay, candy corn, we learned some picture, look at this, it is uh, different types of pixels and also some of the yellow colored and also orange and white, it is different RGB schemas, I mean that red, green, blue in our computer or devices, it is uh, white will be 255, 255, 255 value, values for each of the skis and uh, okay nice amazing and car car tail fin tail fin the era tail fin era oh i heard about it through travis barker with with the autobiography of travis barker he likes to collect some cadillacs and things of this nature and here's ta ta tail fin i i need to to use my Google Translator, I mean that yes, uh, Google Translator too, and also pronunciation we will use here and Telfin and let's take a listen. T let's let's hear tailfin. it. Telfin and Telfin, Telfin. It is like for the for the for the fishes. Yes, in our oceans of emotions and uh, the Telfin era of automobile styling. Encompasses encompassed the 1950s and 1960s, speaking between 1955 and 1961. It means that the most and like uh, peaks and some of the bell curve was like higher <laughs> on the higher y value. Y, I mean that uh, y axis, <laughs> y axis uh, values uh, on this time. Okay, good. And also carbon dioxide laser. The carbon dioxide laser CO2 laser wow, was one of the earliest gas lasers to be developed. It was invented by Kumar Pate, Pat, Patel or uh, Patel, I think, <laughs> not Pate. But uh, okay, we can check it. Who was his Bell Labs also? And it is an electrical engineer. And also we have Bombay, British India. Wow, Indian American. Okay, we have the carbon dioxide laser, ki carbon fibers, or ca carbon fi fibr fibers are fibers about 5 to 10 micrometers, 0 0.00020, 0 0.00039 in, in diameter and composed mostly of carbon atoms. Wow, it is interesting. We have some methane and also we have the glucose. Gluco, glu, glu, in Russian we call, call it one moment and we have here English. One moment and we will write right now glucose. 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 Glucose, yes, correct. Dextrose, fruit, sugar, grape, sugar. A little bit of drinking, everybody. Okay, let's go next. Carbon fibers and uh, carbon microphone. It is if we can create fibers, then we can create it too. A lot of carbon things we are created in America. I want to say, like uh, usage of this uh, to apply uh, to applied sciences. And okay, carbon microphone. The carbon microphone, also known as carbon button microphone, button microphone or car carbon transmitter, is a type of microphone and tran transducer that converts sound to an electrical audio signal. We have the sound, and also maybe we have model how it works actually. Yes, we have some of the sound waves, diaphragm, carbo carbon granules, and it's the same with the radio, guys. I remember we were learning it on our school when I was a schoolboy in 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007. It is uh, my years of my studying, but actually we were learning it in 2012, 12, I, th I think. In 2012, 2013, we were learning about radio radio and Popov, and uh, Popov it is a Russian radio inventor. And uh, also you have radio maybe in your country too, It is uh, we have different radio. Radio America. One moment. Uh, Radio America invention. Invention. Because we have the history of radio. Let's take a look. And uh, we have inventions. And uh, also Maxwell. Yes, we have. And also Popov. Yes, Alexander Popov is here. And uh, Bose and Sir Oliver Lodge. And uh, also, yes, we have different things here such as uh, and uh, we were involved in the development of components and theory involved and also we have some uh, 
versions, yes, and also Gertz we have. Oh, nice dude, by the way, I remember this portrait in my in my school book, I was reading about it, it was interesting. Yes, and also James Clerk Maxwell, and uh, he is in electromagnetism and electrodynamics field as Mandelbrot in, in complex numbers. <laughs> and Mandelbrot set, you can Google it, is actually the Mandelbrot set. Let's take a look it is like let's take a look it is like julia said look at this it's fractals all around like from the frozen frozen singing and uh, you remember this let it go let it go okay your carbon microphone we learned carbon monoxide detector it is uh, some of the detectors or CO detector is a device that detects the presence of the carbon monoxide gas to prevent carbon monoxide poisoning. Yes, I remember our our chemistry chemistry school chemistry school teacher our teacher said to us Nadezhda Vasilyevna she's name is so yes respectful to her and uh, she said that uh, in a garage you can sit down and uh, you can't can't smell it but actually it, it goes and you can find the carbon monoxide in your lungs and it is not a really nice thing and uh, this carbon monoxide detector could prevent it and uh, you will be healthy and you will be nice and safe okay carbon carbon less copy paper ccp non-carbon copy paper or ncr paper is a type of coated paper designed to transfer information written on the front on the sheets beneath wow it is really i didn't see this before let's take a look at this the middle sheet pre reactive clear layer the bottom sheet the top sheet micro capsules of ink and pen it is uh, the specific uh, paper and uh, how how it works actually need to find uh, carbon less copy paper ah i maybe no i maybe no it is what is it it is bezuglerodne kapirvalne bumaga in russian language and and maybe we have it in actually in Russia. Maybe I was using it, but maybe not. Okay, it is uh, this. Ah, it is the paper. Okay, it is paper, guys. And uh, I, I thought. I, I mean, when I said paper, I mean that uh, I found what is it. And actually, it is. Uh, I thought that it is kalk. Kalk in Russian language is it is kalka. And in your language, it is tracing paper. Tracing paper. Yes, and it is uh, you use it to kind of one well, tracing paper. We will find out. Do you use it? And uh, it is specific. You write on something, and maybe calc. I should use calc. Calc. It is this. Okay, and calc. And do you have it or not? Tracing Vellum Blueprint loan, tr loan translation. Loan translation, I think so. Okay, let's go next. It is Cardiac Pacemakers. Cardiac Pacemakers incorpor Incorporated, CPI, doing business as gu Guidant Cardiac Rhythm Management. Manufactured in a plantable cardiac rhythm management devices such as pacemakers and defibrillators wow i uh, new words for me by the way and the cardiac pace pacemaker and uh, uh, actually what is it and uh, let's find out pacemakers and uh, in google translate because i don't know what is it and uh, maybe you know and uh, pace pacemakers it is rhythm Cardio stimulatore in Russian language. Okay, it is the something for the for our cardiac and for also for our yes for for the heart. Yes, we use it and some of the rhythmic pulses and also like an engine it works and uh, we have it and cardio pulmonary bypass it is uh, cpb is the technique in which a machine temporarily takes over the function of of the heart and lungs during surgery and it is uh, cardio pulmonary and actually it is maybe the ah maybe yes maybe i know and uh, it is maybe for the showing 
oh Jesus Christ, something. Okay, I I see this and I have the really sensations about it. Okay, we can reprogram ourselves that it is a good sensation. It is to heal people and also we have the de detectors and also we have illustrations and some of the functions that are written in our on our displays and I think that it is uh, helping to us pulmonary and uh, and we have also. Uh, Pul pulse, yes, pulmonary. I think that that it, it is from it, maybe in some moment. And let's translate it to the Russian, and it is the сердечно легочное шунтирование. Wow, I oh, I didn't know about it. Okay, and I heard this words, but actually, what's the meaning of it? Okay, a carpet sweeper is a mechanical device for the cleaning of carpets wow it is good actually sweeper and we have sweepers in like ju junitor and also we have the this things and you can use the sweep and clean the area junitor as i said it correct junitor it is in russian language dvornik and uh, yes 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 jun ge janitor janitor actually janitor a janitor wiper yar yardman screen wiper uh-huh yes yeah, so when we have it or a sweet screen wiper actually it is for the this type of <laughs> type of areas for the screens and the rear rear windows of your of your car or maybe for the back back or maybe you can like it to be inventor of the some of the sites and actually i think that they were created already but we actually don't use it fully because it was kind of to prevent something that you maybe always kind of touch it and uh, some people can can touch it but actually when the form of the car when we have the engine on the front side yes you I imagine the car yes and we have the front side and on the front front side we have the kind of uh, non super available to the people who are children and uh, they could not break your your genitors of your thing and uh, I mean that uh, if they will be on sites that it is kind of easy to go and to touch it and uh, to make it kind of uh, unworkable yes but uh, actually they created workable in the sides of the rear window and they use them he here and uh, there and carter's little liver pills wow i didn't know about it it is we were formulated as a patent medicine by samuel jacks j carter of airy pennsylvania in 16 1868 the active ingredient was changed when it was renamed in 1959 to be the laxative bis by bisa codil the original active ingredients we were poor ported to be aloe okay aloe we have here and okay some of the pills and cash register ah it is wow interesting <gasps> wow interesting form look at this it is the like it is the calculations and it is like the music box and in Russian we have uh, Sharmanka Sharmanka it is the word for it Sharmanka and it is Hurdigurdi barrel organ street organ hand organ and it looks really the same and let, uh, let's take a look we have the rose it is the spheric I mean that it is the cylinder shape actually but it is the the segment of the of the circle we have here one two three four five and also we have this uh, uh, this cylinders as a buttons and also casa it is a russian name russian name actually it is really true but actually in russia we, we call it and also we have here the russian something written and uh, yes it is kind of casa in russian language we it is casa uh, and the Sofia, I think that is Bulgarian. Yes, it is written in Bulgarian, maybe. And uh, on the ground we have Zinger, Zinger Sue machines, and uh, we we have Kassa, Kassa with uh, two letters C in Russian language. And here is the incorrect one. Maybe it is history we made. And Pokladna, Pokladna. Actually, it is Austro-Hungaria, and uh, some of the words from the <laughs> Pokladna, it is actually like uh, Pol Poland or maybe Czech Republic or maybe it is uh, actually Bulgarian or something like this and uh, maybe Austro-Hungary uh, Hungarian, okay, and we have the uh, this, it is like when you are playing the instrument, do you know the instrument that Lear, I think so, Lira in Russian language 
you call it, and in your language it is Lear. Liar. Liar. Liar, Scyther, and also Cithern, Cithern, and let's take a look at them uh, with a picture. And uh, it will be... Okay, and... Uh, will. Will Liar. Okay, we should use... I think that will be correct. Yes, it is here, and uh, it is uh, written Hurdy Gurdy. And yes, Kalosna Lira, we call it, and uh, it is... And uh, how you call it? Okay, it is the... Hurdy Gurdy. And yes, 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 yes. Ex ex exactly. And uh, yes, they look like this way. Let's go next. We have many time to... Uh, we have uh, time and we need to see a lot of things. Catalytic converter. It is, is an exhaust emission control device that converts toxic gases and pollutants in exhaust gas from an internal combustion engine. Combustion engine that we have. Into less toxic pollutants by catalyzing a redox reaction. Redox, it is actually... When, in Russian language we call it... It is when we have the oxide and also redox. Um, let's take a look uh, how we call it fully in in this language. This redox, it is a type of ox oxidation states and chemical reactions. That we have the kind of uh, ionization and uh, look, look at this. Oxidation and reduction, yes. Reduction and oxidation we have different processes and okay ceiling fan wow it is created in your country it is uh, and in russia we don't have them uh, actually we have but it's not like super popular and we have one two three four five it is astro risk and also pentahon again we have uh, five different vertices and uh, different i mean the polytopes here and uh, let's take a look at this and it is the a mechanical fan mounted on the ceiling of a room of space usually electrically powered that uses hub mounted rotating blades or to circulate air and okay the circulation of the air on our <laughs> and on the ceiling and also we have seal functions in math when we kind of we have number 2.3 and we will and if we will do seal around then we will do this as a 3 2 3 in a function of seal then it will be three and for the floor mathematical function it will be the two and for the round it will be two two and uh, because two three and uh, if it will be two six then it will be for rounding for the higher it will be for the for the integer that stands like nearest for the point okay silly fan charge couple couple device and uh, is an integrated circuit containing an array of linked or coupled capacitors okay capacitors and different things we have and uh, good and chemical laser also we have is a laser that obtains its energy from a chemical reaction yes so kind of understandable chemical oxygen iodine laser C O I L and uh, is a near infrared chemical laser. Is the beam is infrared? Is cannot be seen with the naked eye. It is capable of output power scaling up to megawatts. Megawatts in continuous mode. Its output wavelength is 13, 15 nanometers. A uh, transition, uh, transition with. I think that it is used in some of the. Yes, uh, in Boeing. Wow, and uh, actually, how it looks like chemical oxy oxygen, uh, iodine laser. Let's take a look. Okay, it is invisible. <laughs> As they said, it is. Uh, it cannot be seen with the naked eye. Naked eye. Wow. Chocolate chip cookie. Okay, it is uh, the some type of the food that was we, we were created. Yes, was that. Uh, was create type of the food that was created in your country and uh, it is a drop of cookie features and in the jar you have it and uh, it is uh, the sum look let's take a look at this plane like and uh, it is the specific yes plane i think so and uh, form it is actually near the geoid that flattened and uh, geoid and cigarette it is the cylinder narrow cylinder containing burnable material typically tobacco that is rolled into thin paper for smoking and we have different uh, we have the shapes look at this it is cylinder cylinder and also some of the filters here and also some of the components inside and we can burn it and we can see the 
the things around actually let's take a look at this uh, through the healthy way we are diagnosed we do diagnosis of it through the chemical reactions and what's happening and it's not like uh, that we are using it in real life okay we are doing this in a way of looking this through the physics and also through the chemistry and through the our world how it works and through the programming and development development a clothes hanger coat hanger or coat hanger wow i i have it in my in my cupboard actually i mean that clothes board wardrobe wardrobe and uh, is a hanging device in the shape contour of human shoulders designed to facilitate the hanging of a coat wow it is created by the human shoulders actually yes exactly and uh, if we want look look at this it's or actually yes we can kind of prolong it and to make it as a, as a shoulder and also we can create some body and this uh, somebody so, bo body yes and uh, body for this wooden bottom wire top and uh, we have uh, the wire here it is actually the single uh, usually a cylindrical flexible strand of a roll a rod or mat metal and we also have a uh, strands strands of the of the hair yes strands and strand what is it it is bright yes 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 exactly silver ply also it is uh, what we use and also we use nitka it is the thread string strand rope cotton grain in russian language cloth pin pin wow i remember in my childhood i was using them a lot or clothes Pack is a fastener used to hang up clothes for dry drying, usually on a clothesline. Clothesline, wow, it is new word also to me. I mean that uh, I uh, right now know that they use this line and also some things. Okay, Coca-Cola or Coke is a carbonated soft drink manufactured by the Coca-Cola company. It is uh, really popular, and in Russia we have them too in Happy New Year time in this in this area. Yes, it is uh, the celebration and all the the trucks they are going and some of the tv ads we have and adversities and things of this nature also we have cocaine also known as no name is a highly ca cafe caffeinated energy drink distributed by redox uh, beverages okay it is uh, the name of the drink actually okay next the uh, coil zipper also known as nylon nylon coil zipper and nylon nylon coil zipper is a type of zipper whose teeth elements are made from coiled mono mono filament that's traditional ni nylon and uh, let's take a look at this how we can see this and Aha, uh -huh, it is this way. It is was created in your country. That's really interesting. And uh, cola, it is like Coca Cola. Yes, it's a carbonated soft drink flavored with vanilla, cinnamon, citrus oils, and other flavorings. So different flavors, different chemical reactions. And uh, okay. And, and I drink my water. I prefer water, guys. And combination square is a multi-purpose measuring and marking tool used in metal working, woodworking and st stone masonry. It is composed of a rule and one or more inter interchangeable heads that can be attached to be to to the rule a combination square okay the square that we use in russia we sometimes have them actually and yes we use them it is a kind of this shape yes yes we use and it could be movable also if we wanted commodore it is also known uh, the commodore 64 also known as the c64 or the or the CBM64 is an 8-bit home computer introduced by... <gasps> computer? Uh, in, I thought that this keyboard by Commodore International. It has been is listed in the Guinness World Records as the highest selling single computer model of all time. Wow. Interesting. I didn't know. And uh, it, uh, it looks this way. And we have the... It is... Uh, wow. Screen. And... Uh, Commodore 64 let's go let's take a look and maybe I have the I remember this maybe maybe I've seen this in my in my home and uh, Commodore it is here and some screens maybe in my maybe I we had it in our I mean that we have DOS operating system disk disk also 
readers and things here and okay good 64 and Commodore and uh, it is from my childhood actually I maybe maybe okay compact flash also we have it is the CF is a flash memory mass storage uh, device used mainly in portable electronic devices oh we use this in a camera CF yes and also we we can use some of the cards and other types and also some of the mini HR things and okay it is a memory electronic device but it is storage mass storage device memory mass is a fl is a flash memory mass is a flash memory mass storage device okay and uh, we have compiler in computer i compile is computer program that translates computer code to written in one par programming language into another language it is like if we have the sql and we have also the c plus plus or maybe kotlin or elm or maybe helm or kubernetes or something like this or go programming language erlang i mean that golang they are for the programming languages kubernetes it is not fully for them it is more for container containerization as a docker but actually c plus plus c sharp and go and erlang and you can use them to compile to another languages like one from, from another like like the converter the name compiler is primarily used for programs that translate source code from a high level programming language to a lower level language to create an exit and and also to assembler yes and uh, to to, 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 to assembly language object code or machine code to create an execu executable program yes it is here the matrices matrices pictures and okay come Compliant bonding. Compliant bonding is used to connect gold wires to electrical components such as integrated circuit chips. It was invented by Alexander Coca-Cola Co 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 in the 1960s. The bond is formed with below the melting point or the matting gold surfaces and in therefore referred to a solid state tie bond. And it is here and the sum of the things created by it oh i remember we are learning about it too and okay we have this compliant bonding and in russian we don't have this thing uh, i mean the translation wow <laughs> interesting oh, interesting word compot comptometer and it's for the computations for the it is like computer, computer. It is uh, computer was the first commercially the computer was the first commercially successful key-driven mechanical calculator patented in the United States by Dorr Felt in 1887. Wow, it is here and some of the look at this. This the all electronic de desks desktop calculator. Wow, good and some of the things here and numbers and comptograph comptograph yes from the computation comptograph comptograph or oh, arithmometer brunsviga bureau bureaus the millionaire <laughs> also leighton burkhardt Bur Bur saxonia leighton arithmometer and sometime we have timelines and different comparing with things and the states for it Control crafting also we have okay next computer computer monitor is an output okay tvt lcd led and also we have device that displays information in pictorial or text form yes we know it is our displays and computer mouse it's our input device is a handheld pointing device that detects two-dimensional motion relative to a surface yes it is a relation to the surface and it moves to the left moves to the right to the to the like axis of uh, axis x and axis y axis uh, a x e s and also each of them x a x i s and uh, yes we have them and uh, they are moving with different features computer speakers yes everything that uh, are related to computer was created uh, and uh, not like everything but most things uh, of that we know right now computer speakers uh, we were created in american in america or multimedia speakers are speakers sold for use with computers also usually capable of other audio uses for example for an mp3 player good and we have some of the connectors of usb and also some of the jacks mini jacks and things of this nature confetti 
cake also is a type of cake that has rainbow colored sprinkles baked into the bed butter wow it is uh, some of the confetis and okay if confocal microscopy wow Confocal microscopy, most frequently confocal laser scanning microscopy, CLSM, or laser confocal scanning microscopy, is an optical imaging technique for increasing optical resolution and contrast of a micrograph by means of using a special pinhole to block what? To block what? Let's continue. And so we are in the mini of special pinhole to block out to unfocus light in image formation and special pinhole at a special filter is an optical device which uses the pin pin siples pin siples I think of Fourier optics to alter the structure of a beam of light or other electromagnetic radiation good typically coherent laser light good we are actually use it and it's amazing and uh, let's uh, go to an, another field so we have the contour crafting is a building print it's a building printing technology being researched by ben Be Be Rock. Cos Havis of the University of Southern California's Information Sciences Institute that uses a computer controlled crane of our gantry to build edifices rapidly and efficiently with substantially less manual, manual labor. Okay, it is contour crafting, it is uh, the specific contours, I think, so like circuits or something. And uh, it was created in information sciences, yes, I think so. Cordless telephone or portable telephone is a telephone in which the handset is portable but able to be used like landline phone com communication only. It operates by radio frequency transmission and not a physical insulated wire or telephone line. Good, good technology, really. And uh, it is by frequencies and we have different uh, hertz here and it is uh, the there are and also cordless phones wow good and cb and narrow band fm and also megahertz and different words and descriptions to this field we have cotton candy oh cotton candy <laughs> you have in your li life and uh, actually right now i know what is it what's the name of it it is also known as fairy flo fairy floss and candy floss yes nice uh, nice <laughs> we have also floss for our for our teeth and here's the floss of it is a spun sugar confection that resembles cotton and we have some some process of creating it it is actually the recipe i mean that specific device engineering is is involved in this field and also cotton green we have cot cotton jean and meaning cotton engine yes cotton jean i think so one moment and it will be pronunciation cotton gin Valokna Adelitel. It is like for the cotton cotton candy, yes, and I think that it is the same maybe. Mini cotton engine is a machine that quickly and easily separates cotton fibers from their seeds, enabling much greater productivity than manual cotton separation. Okay, it is like a separating machine for the cotton fibers. Okay, and also we have the cotton swap, and wow! Actually, cotton swaps and we use them and also we have this in our life are handled items that consist of one or two small one watts of cotton. We have watts of cotton. Yes, it is a watt and I think so watts of cotton one moment watts of cotton and uh, Yes, it is cotton actually and uh, that consists of one of two small wads of cotton wrapped around one of or both ends of a short rod, a rod made of wood, rolled paper or plastic. A rod, a rod, actually, what's how? What's the pronunciation of this word? One moment. Rod. 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 Okay. Okay. Rod. Rod. We have this and. Uh, <laughs> And uh, cotton swab, okay, it crashed this dummy. Wow, I, I've seen this on Galileo. Galileo, it is a show in our, in my childhood. It was some of the science, uh, science, popular science show. Mm -hmm. 
crash test dummy we use them is a full-scale anthropomorphic test device ATD that simulates the dimensions weight proportion weight proportions and articulation of the human body during a traffic collision traffic collision and also some of the weight proportions okay dummy and crash a crash test dummy we use them and it simulates actually for the for the test to to make things safe and actually it is what we create and we can create them in our re real life too crayon uh, is a stick of pigmented wax oh it is pastel i think so crayon is a stick of pigment wax used for writing or drawing crayon one moment i think that i know it and one moment it is the milok <laughs> crayon and actually it is sweetener karandash uh, Mail and uh, actually pencil or stick color chalk or wax used for drawing, but I thought that it is pastel. But what is pastel? One moment, it is uh, in Russian language we call we call it pastel. Pastel. Pastel and uh, chalk crayon too. We can use yes. And uh, crayon or crayon. One moment, Cr crayon. And uh, we are learning. Crayon. Crayon. Crayon, guys. Credit card was created. Look at this. It is different numbers. Cheap and also bank name and also some of the number and also date and also the the some initials of the person and also we have the specific t specific term that shows that it is for the contact or not and all specific bank and also some of the logos we have. Is a payment card you each issued to users car card holders to need to check the information what is it and uh, what is it to and actually everything of it will will find it okay and uh, it is the okay card is a credit card is a payment card issued to users card holders to enable the card holder to pay a merchant for goods and services based on the card holders accrued debt the card issuer creates uh, creates creates a revolving account and grants a line of credit to line card holder okay okay it is specific like um, things and camera look at this the chromem chromemco cyclops introduced in 1975 by chromemco was the first commercial all digital camera using a digital metal oxide semiconductor mos image sensor it is semiconductors and we have them in our computers too and it was also the and uh, in our cameras it was also the first digital camera to be interfaced to a microcomputer Wow, Chromemco, Chromemco Cyclops, Cyclops, crossed molecular, crossed molecular beam, and actually, if someone will say the next time Cyclops, it could mean not only Cyclops, and what's the name, and uh, when they will say it is not only mythical, mythical creatures, it is also the cameras. Chromemco Cyclops. Cyclops, okay, crossed molecular beam, ex Crossed molecular beam experiments are chemical experiments where two beams of atoms of or molecules are collided together to study the dynamics of the chemical reactions and can detect individual reactive collisions. Okay, it is uh, velocity, transactional, rotational, vibrational modes, uh, co collimated beams, and we have them. Collimated beam, it is actually the in Russian language collimatia. It is создание тонкого параллельно идущего потока излучения при помощи щели, через которые он проходит. Okay, it is the specific, the specific way how we use it, and also look at this, it is specific like uh, rays, yes, and uh, we have them, and also some of the rectangles here, and one more rectangle, a rectangle, and arrows. Crossed field amplifier. A crossed field amplifier CFA is a specialized vacuum tube first introduced in the mid 1950s and frequently used as a microwave amplifier in very high power transmitters. Amplifier actually it was what amplifies what uh, improves the amplitude and uh, 
things of this nature. Amplitudes in our speech, it is actually the decibels of how we speak and also we have the frequency, this the pitch, how we speak something. It is gross field amplifier and uh, frequently used as a microwave amplifier. Okay, microwaves. Crown, crown cork and the, four, the crown cork, we can use it in uh, writing when we are writers. The first form of bottle cap was invented by William Painter in 1892 in Baltimore. The company making it was originally called the Bottle Seal Company, but it changed its name with the almost immediate success of the crown cork to the crown cork and seal, com and seal company. It is how it is open, opening a crown cap and of the water, for example, salt and something like this. And cryotron is a switch that operates using superconductivity. And uh, wow, inter interesting. The cryotron works on the principle that magnetic fields destroy superconductivity. The, this simple device consists of two superconducting wires with different critical temperatures. And okay, it is good to know about it, and maybe it is the previous version of uh, of something. I I think that it's like uh, yes, it's conductor superconductivity, and uh, we use them. I think so in different fields. And okay, some of the periodic periodic table of superconductivity we have also here, and uh, binary hydrine hydrine superconductors. Wow. Okay, next go. Crystallate is an early plastic, a formulation of nitrocellulose, camphor, and, camphor, and alcohol invented in the late 19th century and patented by American inventor George Henry Bird. Some chemical reactions, guys. And also Curiosity Rover is a, is a car-sized Mars rover designed like ho hover, hover bikes and... Uh -huh. mm -hmm designed to explore the Gale crater on, on Mars as a part of NASA's Mars Science Laboratory MSL mission. Curiosity was launched from Cape Cana Canaveral CCAFC on 26th November 2011 at 15.02, 15 hours 2 minutes uh, 0 seconds UTC and landed on Iolis Palus inside Gale Gale Carater, Carater on Mars on August on 6 August 2012 05 57 UTC and UTC it is actually the coordinate universal time or UTC is the primary sta time standard by which the world regulates clocks and times UTC okay we need to know the Bradbury landing site was less than 2.5 kilometers at one five miles from the center of the rover's touchdown target touchdown target after a five hundred sixty million kilometers three hundred fifty million miles journey yes this is the specific animation of it too we can see and mars science laboratory curiosity okay and also we have Curion is a transuranic, radi transuranic radi radioactive chemical element with the symbol CM and atomic number 96. And Curium, Pierre Curie, and uh, after Marie and Pierre Curie named. The element of the actinid series was named after Marie and Pierre Curie, both known for their research on radioactivity. And also it was here Glenn T. Of, okay, some of the let's curium was first internationally produced and identified on July 1944 by the group of Glenn T. Seaborg at the University of California, Berkeley. Berkeley, Berkeley, okay, nice. And this discovery was kept secret and only released on to the public in November 1947. Yes, it is our radioactive things that we can. C um we have also a Americ Americum Americium and Berkelum. One moment. It is actually Americium left pointing arrow curium right pointing arrow berkelium. Berkelium. Berkelium, okay. And so we have current Q 
current limiting reactor. In electrical engineer, current limiting reactors can reduce short circuit currents, which result from plant expansions and power source additions, additions to level that can be adequately handled by handled, 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 handled by existing distribution equipment. And handled, it means uh, one moment. Hand, handled. 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 Okay, this is correct one. Cyano correlate, correlate, cyano correlate, and it is. Cyanoacrylates. Cyano correlate. Cyanoacrylate. Cyanoacrylates, cyanoacrylate. It is acryl, I think, so, so was uh, created by you. Are a family of strong, fast acting adhesives, adhesives with industrial, medical, and household uses. They are derived from ethyl cyanoacrylate and related esters. And okay, nice. And uh, polymerizes, uh, okay, water strong chains okay good cyborg truck is a monster truck currently racing in the ushria monster jam series so we have the wheels and also some of the shapes here good cyclo computer a cyclo computer cycle computer cycling computer or cyclometer is a device or uh, is a device cyclometer is a device mounted on a bicycle bicycle that calculates and displays trip information similar to the instruments in the dashboard of a car and uh, similar to the instruments in the dashboard of a car it is uh, we have it and dashboard look at this it is dashboard it means the dashboard and it shows some dashes and Okay, dashboard and cyclotron is a type of particle accelerator invented by Ernest O. Lawrence. Lawrence, guys, Lawrence Lowe's we have, and uh, I think so. One moment, Low Lawrence Lowe's. Do we have them? Lawrence Lessig. Ah, it is another way. And Lawrence, Lawrence, uh, and we have. Uh, Ah, Jennifer Lawrence. Okay, we have uh, the Lawrence. Need to check this information. And uh, Berkeley again at the University of California. It is super, super for radi radioactive things. Uh, stands Berkeley at the University of California, Berkeley, 1929 to 1930, and patented in 1932. A cyclotron accelerates charged particles outwards from the center of a flat cylinder vacuum cha chamber along a spiral path. Path. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look what we learned today. Today we learned uh, more about computers uh, that were invented in your country. A lot of computer science and things of this nature were created in your country. Some of the computer speakers, also computer mouse, computer monitor, and also we have different uh, things and C programming language and C sharp programming language, and also some of the cotton candy was created uh, and these machines and also some of the, the things uh, and cray crayon and uh, crayon yes i think so that i said cray crayon and uh, crayon crayon cray crayon crayon was created in your country too and uh, some of the drawing tools and a lot of things were created in america and some shapes too and also some of the shoulders and uh, that we have and wire i mean that uh, and what's the name of it this uh, also co coil zipper we have in your country and uh, compact flesh too and uh, where is it it is uh, conf confetti cake also some clothes a clothes hanger yes or another way coat hanger coat hang uh, coat hanger with the white space between and also a coat hanger we have and uh, it is good and amazing to learn about it and what's white space by the way white space and it is the White space character in computer chemical white space is any character or series of characters that represent horizontal or vertical space in ty in typography. Okay, white space we have a need to remember it it's in typography. So thank you a lot for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Recommend your own like inventions and I mean that that maybe your own yes if you have and also recommend some of the inventions that you prefer to know and also to know more about and maybe you have some and also 
models, uh, maybe specific cars, machines, designs, and also calculations. And also, calculator was created in your country, and also the ancestors of the all of the calculators so we were created in your country too. And it's good. And uh, improve cell data, guys, and go forward, uh, multiplicate, calculate, also do adding, calculus, and also some of the integration, differentiation daily, and everything will be fine in your life. And also draw pictures and paint things and also do music and dance every day and uh, move your uh, your limbs and and everything will be fine guys thank you a lot for watching see you next time